Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathLog, and this lesson is skip count on a number line. So uh, this is lesson 3.3 three in the textbook that we're following. So there's our common core strand. And our essential question is, how can we use a number line to skip count and find how many are in all? So here's a problem here. Julie wants to make three ribbons for her kitty to play with. She uses six feet of string to make each ribbon. How many feet of string does Julie need in all? Okay, so let's answer some questions here. So how many equal groups of string will Julie make? Well, she's going to make three ribbons right there, so three equal groups. And, and how many feet of string will be in each group? Well, each ribbon uh, is six feet right there. And then so what do we need to find? Well, we need to find how much string will Julie need to make for all three ribbons right there. Okay. So we're going to use a number line to count equal groups. So here's a number line below. And so how many feet of string does Julie need for each ribbon? Well, it said six feet of string for each ribbon. And how many equal lengths? Well, she's going to do three ribbons right there, so three equal lengths. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at zero. And we're going to skip count by sixes for the six feet by drawing jumps on the number line. So here's six feet right there and that would make one ribbon. So we're going to do it for three times because she's making three ribbons. So there's another ribbon and there's another ribbon. So three ribbons is going to jump all the way out to 18 feet. Six plus six plus six right there. So how many jumps did we make? We made three jumps and how long was each jump? It was six feet right there. Okay, so we're going to multiply three times six because we did three jumps of six or three groups of six. So three times six here it is right here it equals this 18 right there okay so Julie needs 18 feet of string in all to make all three ribbons hey what if uh, Julie made four ribbons of string with five feet of string in each ribbon what would we do differently to find the total number of feet in the string well we do the same thing except we in this one we would do four jumps of five because each one is five feet and so four jumps of five would get us out to twenty or four times five equals twenty right there okay alright hey there's my cat Jama and Jama says please like the video thanks a lot you guys take care